angels, top of the morning to you all. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I'm also doing so very well as you can see. Yeah, so if you're new here, I'm coming at you straight from Mali, from Marco. So you guys are welcome to Mali, the cradle of civilization and the land of one people, one faith and one goal. So, as you can see, it's a beautiful morning. You can see the sun is almost out. And you can see the roads of Bamako, like it is a rush hour right now in the morning. People are rushing to get to work and take care of their businesses. And I am standing right here to travel to another region here in Mali. So you guys, I just want you to come along with me and let's go on this adventure. So this morning, I am going to the region of Segu. Segu is one of the regions here in Mali and it has a city called the Segu city which is the capital city of the Bambara people. It's actually a town. Segu is the capital town of the Bambara people. Uh, I learned from people that it's an interesting place so I just want to go there and explore and see what they have there. So right now I am currently at the Yara Transport. As you can see, one of the most preferred transportation companies here in Mali that people prefer to use to travel within the regions, like inter-regional travel here in Mali. And they also have cars here for rent. As you can see, all these cars are for rent. Yeah, so I am here waiting for their bus. This is one of their offices here, the bus terminal. But the bus itself is coming from the city center to come and pick me. So I'll just be waiting here gently for them as they arrive. And we embark on our journey to Segu. So you guys, come along with me. And let's go. Okay, I'll see you in a few. Since now, I am the only person right here traveling to Segu. All the other people you see there, they are all traveling to different parts of Mali, like different regions. Yeah, so I do not have a count of bats. Oh my goodness. It will be a thrilling journey. <laughs> but I hope people are coming from the other side, so I'm going to be making friends in the bus. The traditional sit here in Mali. Who prefer to sit on this? than any other. Is it for? Okay. Yes. So what is there? Like what? You know traditional. Uh-huh. Traditional. Fresh. Uh-huh. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Wow. Oh. There is plenty donkey. Donkey. You know donkey. Uh-huh. Uh, plenty donkey like uh huh. Um, okay. You will see the woman who is well dressing. Uh huh. Now enter in the donkey and the trailer. Donkey trailer, you know that? Yes. Oh, the bus should come early. Oh. It's an old, old, old town. It's an old town. Old town. Okay. Mm. The story of that place called the old town. Ah, the story of this country. It's from that place. Wow. Uh -huh. Can I sit on this one? Okay. Thank you. It was a big kingdom. In before. Before. She now. Oh. Since thousand time. Ah, long time ago. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, they told me it's an interesting place, so I said, let me go and see what is there. But now, small time, they will do the festival there. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave before the festival. I'll go back to my country. So I'll come back next year for the festival. Ah. <laughs> if so, let's go. Say go. Your ticket. Yeah. 
busy working. If no, I can take your phone number. Oh, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> How okay, are you guys? Where am I sitting? I want to sit at the front. It's crazy, me, I'm just a funny girl sometimes. <laughs> it's crazy. I love my accent, though. Alright, so maybe I should just end the video here because there's nothing much to show. Thank you for joining the night. I hope you enjoy it. I want to start the front. And they are saying full AC, full AC. Full AC again. <laughs> Let me see that the front is a full AC, full AC. Guys, can you budget? This is good. I like taking fun of too much. No. That's not a pump. No. Hey, mama. No. I'm not buying. Guys, see what I got. I've forgotten the name. Huh? That's a pump. Never. Shogo. Okay. They said it's called Shogo. No, I'm not buying this kit. I'm not buying This is Shogo. I bought it um, as I was entering the bus. One of their breakfasts here in Mali and I got it with pep. Oh my goodness. Has she added pepper? I don't even know. Oh damn, she didn't add pepper. Small. <laughs> She didn't add me pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will not let you rest though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? No. Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. 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 She added pepper for the first time. And I loved it now. No pepper. Interesting moments here in this bus. And I just want to be showing it to you guys. And I'll be showing you how uh, this road leading to CB and uh, Segu looks. Seriously, the Malian roads are extremely good. I won't even lie to you. I'll try and get up and try showing you the road i don't have to give it right because i have to do this interesting this man has been sending a lot of products in the past and very interesting he's fended more than five products already and still counting the massage I don't know what it says. He also gave me a bonbon. Toffee. Oh, I did it. It was knitted. Lovely, Papa. Bad man's toffee. Oh, it's like tea. It's coming to check. The one he has to take, I'm going to take it. It's still here.
oh something has gone wrong i just heard a noise like a metal falling or something i don't know you see the car is bumping on the road no something is happening i don't know whether they are intentionally stopping or something is wrong oh, some people are lighting <laughs> he's leaving oh he's done with his business wow interesting people are lighting here that's why they stop oh, wow. oh, this is so interesting they all just trooped into the bus and the bus has immediately become congested Oh my god, what's an auto? Goodness. Oh. Alright guys, so we are in the bus, like I said. I wanna be showing you how the road looks their roads are so good so i just want to show you okay yeah i told you that my roads are the best and no potholes no freaking potholes here in this pass oh my yeah on this road sorry <laughs> i'm too excited I was disturbing them ever since I sat in the bus, and now they have given me the chance. Let me go take my bag. Sorry. I go forward. Bye. I'm going to sit forward. <laughs> Merci. Mm. Okay. So guys, Diara is one of the safest to travel with within Mali and other bordering countries. Like most of the people I came to Bamako with those who knew preferred Diara and those who didn't were recommended Diara. Is something happening there? I think there's something damaged in the bus in front of us because it's not moving, which might not be any fault of the driver. But most of the time, these things happen due to overloading passengers, over speeding, or anything reckless. You get that is why you must always use Tiara, or better still, do proper inquiries before boarding any bus here in Bamako. Alright, so I've, I hope you guys have seen how good the road is. Um, when I get to an interesting spot, I will let you know anything interesting. I will keep you posted. So just hang around and uh, enjoy the video. Do not forget to subscribe, like it, and also leave your beautiful, beautiful comments as we journey along to Segun, one of the historical towns here in Mali. This trip is about Segun. But first of all, let's talk about Diara. Diara didn't pay me to do this, but I'm doing this per my own experience as in what I think is safest. So one benefit of using Diara is that the drivers are very conductive of themselves. Two, 
they consider the passenger's welfare okay there is not anything like overloading passengers or goods okay nothing like reckless overtaking and overspeeding you get and there are rules and regulations they are under a well established company so they have rules processes and policies that they follow okay so yeah i think it's in your best interest to also do your research before boarding buses for across regions because some of those drivers can be so reckless they can pack passengers into car into buses like sardines no breathing space and those passengers packed standing in these buses due to discomfort tend to complain so much along the way distracting the drivers and boom before you realize there's an accident i've experienced one before that is why i'm just letting you know the choices to make anytime you are out here traveling by road in mali so this place is called Kodi. 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 On the road to Segu, that's the number 12 town called Kodi. I think someone is gonna be alighting here. But I'm wrong. No one is alighting. All the people getting down plus the driver are just going to urinate. But they stopped purposely because one of the passengers have a delivery to be made to him. You can see the guy running up to him with a chicken. You guys, a live chicken. That is why they stop for this man. Incredible. Like, this is how this car will be stopping on this road till we get to Segu. That's the only downside of boarding Diara. It gets to stop a hundred times on the way. <laughs> Alright, talking about Segu, Segu as a town is one of the oldest and historical towns in Mali and is the capital town of the region of Segu and the Segu Circle. It is also considered the capital town of the Bambara ethnic group. From Bamako to Segu is about 235 kilometers northeast, okay? northeast of Bamako and is on the right bank of the Niger River. So have you seen that they have created the road itself? The main road is there and they have created a pavement for bikes or pedestrians. Like that is one thing about the Malian government's point constructing roads. Even its original roads like main roads are constructed with pavements for pedestrians is not only in the roads in the city of Bamako, almost all their roads. That's what I'm experiencing here. You can see it for yourself. Alright, so most of the lands you see by the roadside here are cleared up for the next farming season. Consider the fact that majority of the Malian population are farmers. This fishing, crop production and animal husbandry. So yeah, these are farmlands okay most of them and also those houses you see by your left are part of the affordable housing projects for the malian people all right back to segu in 2009 the town of segu was considered the fifth largest town in mali okay in the olden days that is in the 19th century there were four villages with Segu prefixing their names, okay, they are Segu Koro, Segu Sekoro, Segu Kuku, and Segu Kura. So all of this together is called Segu in the Segu circle found in the region of Segu. Segu Koro means old Segu and Segu Kura means new Segu. the towns and villages on this road are actually numbered i just told you about the number 12 town or village okay so they are all numbered yeah <laughs> so this place is called Fana, like i said <laughs> someone is alighting
This is Fana in Mali on the road to Segu. <laughs> During the 18th century, Shigu was a big empire called the Shigu Empire, founded by Beton Mamari Kulibali. When he became king in 1712, the village of Shigu Kuru prospered extensively under his rule. Then, the kingdom was called Shigu Empire, or the Bambara Empire, or the Bamana Empire. And the first European to have visited the village was Mungo Park. And after that, the kingdom declined gradually during the 19th century. It was later conquered by the Tukulo Empire from Senegal, followed by the French army, which was led by Colonel Louis Achinad, who played a major role in the conquest of French West Africa, especially French Sudan, called Mali in the modern days. So when I was trying to see, I was asking him whether he knows the Shegu market, whether he's going to the market and he said no, I is going to a town on the road and he'll be returning back to Bamako, you guys, am I not trying? I'm speaking a lot of French here. <laughs> So this is still Fana. Fana, it seems busy a bit. Thinking wild, or thinking wild, Anna, wild, which is the correct one. Alright, so when it comes to climate, Shigun has a hot, semi arid climate and it's irrigated by the rivers Niger and Bani. It has two seasons the rainy season, which starts from June up until September, and the dry season, which is dominated by the Hamatan wind blowing from north to south. Okay, the rainy season is expedited by the northwest monsoon winds. <laughs> Shegu town has several ethnic groups, including the Bambara, Malinke, Soninke, Tukulo, the Bozo, the Somono, etc so the bambara is the largest ethnic group and are mostly farmers followed by the bozo who have specialties in fishing and are experts of the water transport system due to their knowledge of the niger river so the next one is the somono who are mostly fishers and boaters Shegu's architectural style is of the french colonial or sudano sahelian architecture. So this is a road trip from Bamako to Shegu or Segu. <laughs> So this place is called Aruan. Also, the current town of Shegu is on the site of Shegu Sikoro, which was the capital city of the Bambara Kingdom. So when they ask, when Segu is mentioned, what comes to mind? What is Sego known for? So Sego is famously known for the production of poetry, weaving, sculpting and painting. It is also famously known for the production of the Malian traditional textile fabric called Bogolan or mud cloth in English. 
we cannot let go of its vibrant market. Most tourists always love to visit this market because it contains a lot of stuff that speak about the culture and tradition of the Malian people, not forgetting about its vital role played in history. So yeah, when you talk about Sego, the market comes to mind, poetry comes to mind, the Malian traditional fabric Bogolan comes to mind. And of course, the capital town of the Bambara people comes to mind as well. So we have left Kodopuku. Kodopuku. In Bambara, Pugu means house. Pugu means house in Bambara. Throughout the journey, there is no portable, not a single one on the road. So the major economic activity of the region of Segu is agribusiness, cattle farming and fishing. So Segu is considered one of the major food producers for the whole of Mali. All right, so we have stopped by a village for people to alight. As you can see, some people are alighting here. That is their destination. That is where they are traveling to. You can see the woman with a sack, followed by the man. They are all alighting. There, another person is still coming. Yeah, so also we have some women there by the roadside venturing their produce what you see right there is cassava raw cassava here people chew raw cassava so don't be surprised if you find someone buying that's peeling it off right now and adding some salt and voila they eat it but back home in ghana cassava can be combined with planting and pounded into full food and combined with some soup like granite soup or palm nut soup or pepper soup and they eat it by here no no cassava come raw add salt and mm, into the tummy what you see right there is a common fruit here in mali is very common here so we continue with our journey right up until we get to seagulls
place it really looks more beautiful than in Bamako. The road here is superb. Wow. From Bamako to this place, no single portal. Three hour journey, and three hours journey. No single portal. Look at that. Beauty of Malian roads or something else. <laughs> Ali, they got their roads covered. The only thing left to them is to take care of their and they will be cool. Ah, okay. Stadium. Okay, that's their stadium. So this is the stadium of It's cleaner than Bamako. Can I say that you guys? Because look at the roots. They are so clean. Sheku is cleaner than Bamako. So now we gotta pick um, maybe a taxi, motor taxi, that's what they call it. <laughs> the market. So thank you all. <laughs>